only na kami sa Philippines, no? Kano ko kanina siya eh? Okay, handa ka na ba? O sir? May tagay, wait lang. O do you want English or Tagalog? Uh, English. Nihongo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the question goes like this. Ay, hindi pa suyo. Aside from a rainbow, what else do you think can be a symbol of LGBT and why? Again, aside from a rainbow, what else do you think can be a symbol of LGBT and why? You know, it's very tough to think of a, a question, uh, an answer for a question that's not usually asked on pageants. And so I'm actually being put on the spot at the moment. If I could think of another um, symbol for the LGBTQI community, what would it be? Because you know, usually people prefer colors when they talk about the LGBTQI community. But to me, as simple as having a flower can be a symbol for the LGBTQI community. And for what particular reason would I say a flower could symbolize the LGBTQI community? It is because in the Philippines, we all know that we're not fully accepted. We are somehow tolerated by people. But I think it's high time for people to understand that instilled in our hearts and minds and the basic law that we have in our constitution, people are pushing for the rights of the LGBTQI community. And I think that a flower would symbolize that so much because it's something that's like a bud about to grow. People are not very ready accepting us that we have rights to be recognized, but it is a start of something new. It is a start of acceptance. It is a start of embracing us and knowing that we are just like every single one of you. Human beings, Filipinos, who deserves our rights, our lives, and whatever that you straight cisgender men and women enjoy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it could be a simple question. It could be very, very tough and it needs clarification. And a conversation like this, when you talk to one another, is a conversation to understand each other. And to me, a flower is an instilled symbol of the LGBTQI community about to rise above all in a country just like the Philippines. Thank you very much. That is candidate number seven. Can we have another? Okay, moving into candidate number nine. Our best in national costume and best in... Best in anything, yeah. Okay, ready again, ma'am? Okay, ready. So I'd like to remind everyone, mom, here's your microphone. I'd like to remind everyone, especially in our top five, we have our criteria, kasi down to zero na po tayo mga ating girls. The intelligence, that is 50%. Stage presence, 40%. And audience, and that is 10%. Okay. Next step forward, please. Okay, in the Philippines, many gay people are out. Loud and feminine. There are many gay role models, like Vice Ganda for Feminine Gays. Society often forgets that there are gay people out there who are quiet, shy, or more masculine. What do you have to say about the lack of attention masculine gays have in the community? In the Philippines, many gay people are out, loud and feminine. There are many gay role models like Vice Ganda for Feminine Gays. Society often forgets that there are gay people out there who are quiet, shy, and uh, more masculine. The question is, what do you have to say about the lack of attention masculine gays have in the community? Well, thank you very much for that wonderful question that paved me a way to promote the member of LGBTQA plan 
here in the community. And that, what do I think is my opinion for the lack of attention for those masculine gay? So when you say gay, this is a person physically being a man, but a member of LGBT, dressed like a man, act like a man, but still, they are aware of themselves that they are a member of LGBT. Most of them are not loud or shy enough to show who they are from the end. So what I can say? Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, being true to yourself, being proud of being who you are, is what makes you happy as an individual. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that is one reason why of lacking of attention of masculine gay, because they are shy enough to showcase of being who they are or open in. If they are totally accepted what they feel from within and they are proud to showcase of what who, and who they are, then definitely community of what we have right now, they will embrace it from as a part of humanity and they will experience happiness in their life. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is candidate number nine. Thank you very much, girl. Moving into another, please welcome all stage candidate number five. that support the concept of gay pageants. What will you tell them? Again, there is a group of people who does not support the concept of gay pageants. What will you tell them? Okay. Meron na kung mga grupo ng mga tao na hindi sumusupport na sa katulad na gitong na ganitong patimpala na kung saan ang mga katulad ng bakla ang naririto ngayon sa inyong harapan. Ano nga po ba ang maaari kong sabihin sa kanila? Simple lamang po mga kaibigan. Narito kami sa inyong harapan, hindi upang kayo ay kutsayin at hindi upang kami ay inyong kutsayin. Narito kami sa inyong harapan upang magbigay ng maliw at magbigay ng ligaya sa gabi nito. Sa mata ng mga katulad ng bakla, hindi po kami, hindi po kami dapat nilidiscriminate. Dahil kami po ay isa rin po sa nalikha ng ating poong may kapa. At para sa mga patikos po ng gaitong klaseng pating pala, Patawad po sa inyo, dahil naniniwala po ako na ang pagiging bakla ay hindi masama sa mata ng Diyos at sa mata ng tao. Liban lang ako kung kami po ang gagawa ng aming kasasama. Maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat. Candidate number five. Sige, ladies and gentlemen, pag nakakatapas sa sogot. All the way from San Rafael. Ah, San Rafael! Oo! Ayan mga kaibigan po na sila, ano, sila Kansi Alvin Yulago. Okay, ready? All the way to Agay? Walang yeno! Bayan mo ng yeno! Okay, ready? What is your favorite thing about the gay community in the Philippines? Pwede din ko po. What is your favorite thing about the gay community in the Philippines? Alright, thank you for that wonderful and very interesting question. So the question that was given to me is what is my favorite thing about the gay community in the Philippines? Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, napakalayo na po ng narating ng LGBT dito sa ating bansa. So I can say, there's a lot of things that I can tell that I I can be proud of, that I can, I like it, I like the way how LGBT going right now, but you know what? If 
there is one thing that I like in our gay community, that is we are still or remaining brave in this country. Because I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, that araw-araw na lamang po, hindi nakakarinde, but we are already immune with that so-called discrimination. That's why if there is one favorite thing that I would like to tell you, we are still here. Whatever it kind of whatever it kind of discrimination, we're still here. Standing in front of you, chin up, looking high, that someday we will meet our goals in this country. And that for us to be fully accepted and to be fully loved by each and individual Filipinos. Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, still it's not already complete of the of the acceptance in the Philippines. But if there is one pa ulit ulit namin kakantahin na kami po ay isang serena at kahit anong gawin nila bandera namin ay kailanman hindi hindi and I always believe and you should always remember that as long as you are on the right track we are born to survive thank you oh okay pa no no o sige lahat na yung verse ng Lady Gaga Ready? Thank you, yes. Good evening, ano bang Ganda ba dito? What is the role of the LGBT community towards the future development of our country? Again, what is the role of the LGBT community towards the future development of our country? In a diverse country where every one of us has its own calling and attention, and how we would be able to please everyone, but then again from the very bottom and core values of the LGBTIQ community, maraming beses question, ano nga ba ang papel namin sa pagpapautwat o yung pagdevelop ng bawat komunidad o sa pangkalahatan? There was a thing that I was asked, beginning from the family itself, back there in my home. My own story is definitely spread out for everyone else. And nothing has to prove it yet by just saying like this. Ano nga ba ang kahalagahan ng isang bakla sa pag-angat ng lipunan ng komunidad ng ating bansa at sa pangkalahatan? I would like to ask to everyone, nag enjoy po ba kayo ngayong gabi? May natututunan po ba kayo ngayong gabi? That alone is a determining factor, a living evident that the gay doesn't exist with nothing else. We fly the color from all different in the world, nurses, attorneys, and even in the existing part of the world of arts. Because the number one role of the gay is to simply just serve as an inspiration to everyone, maging inspiration sa isa sa pangkalahatan. Number one na dapat niyong tatyain. Mula sa aking pagkabata, marami laging sinasabi ang aking ama na namayapa noong May 20. And listen to this very carefully. You can never be someone else because you are a gay. And what's in between your legs will definitely be followed because that is the social norm and the society should be. I was crunch. There was nothing else. Bakit ko susundin ang tatay ko? Nalalam ko naman, ang nararamdaman ko ay kakaiba. Ayaw niya kasi sundalo siya. But for that very part itself, I have proved to them that a gay's role is definitely to inspire the authenticity. Walang mali sa pagpapakatotoo ng bawat isang tao hanggat hindi ka umaapak ng kahit kanino at gumagawa ng kamalingan sa isang komunidad at hindi ka sumusuway sa patas. And that alone I have proved to him, but then I have said sorry and apologize, my dad. One, because here standing in front of you, because of joining beauty pageant, were 11 children, and second from the eldest, eight of them graduated in college because of me sending them to school because of the beauty pageant I have been joining. So, anong mali sa pag 
naging bakla. Anong mali pag nagpapakatotoo ang tao? Anong mali kung sumasali ka? Maraming magsasabi pa ulit-ulit siya. Dami nang narating. Pare-parehas kaming bakla. Pare-parehas kaming may gusto lang ibahagi sa inyong lahat. At ayaw mong bitawan ang bawat entabladong ito na pupuntahan ko na wala pong iniiwang inspirasyon sa inyong lahat. Maaring medyo mahaba ang sinasabi ko, ngunit kailanman. There was once a candidate number eight who had joined in this beauty pageant here in your event of proving that it is not only about giving you happiness but giving you all na bakla ka man, tombayo na ka man being authentic and being genuine to yourself it's part everyone else there's nothing more less there's nothing more to go because from that itself doon malalaman ng tao na ang kahalagahan ng bakla ay hindi lang magpangiti bagpos, kurutin ang puso nyo na iangat ang sarili nyo habang nalulog mo kami dahil kami mismo mandiri mo muli po magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at nawapoy yakapin nyo ang bawat isa because this is a celebration of Miss Gay Unibix and thank you to the organizer and to the judges and to everyone walang mali sa pagpapakatotoo nasa sayo kung ikaw ay umaapak ng kung sino thank you Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, Pansit. Miss Universe 2020. For runner up, she can receive the amount of 2,000 pesos. Plus, crown, sash, and trophy. Plus, a round trip ticket to Bukawi Tall Gate. Tina ko pa kauwi kayo talaga. Ladies and gentlemen, Runner up goes to 